Welcome to Gamer Station's Browser Games of the Week for the week of August 7th. And I'm your host, Steven Snake and Lindsay. Now, this is our biggest week yet, so we have to get right into our list. I can't really tell if this guy is a spaceman or not. He could be a knight with futuristic guns. I mean, can't they make it more apparent that he's a spaceman? It's like that ninja game a few weeks ago. Anyways, he plays a spaceman who has been... I suppose, sent to rescue all the princesses in the land and to kill any zombies that, well, really want nothing to do with the princesses. It starts off easy, but it becomes increasingly difficult with each level. Well, we have a short game here. You can beat it in less than a minute. It's not that hard or challenging in any way, but there's just something about scrolling right, shooting trolls, blowing up places and being confused on what side of the Jesse Slaughter stuff it's meant to be. We have a new tower defense game on our hand, and it's been a while. The drill is similar to all those other tower defense games. Build towers, they kill stuff on a path, you get money, and then you upgrade and build more towers with the money you get. There are only three maps though, but with 50 waves on those maps, you'll find it hard to stay alive for even that long. People seem to love these things called achievements. It's like smack almost to these people. If you haven't played the original, then here's what the game is about. Getting achievements. You control an elephant, and you have to achieve all of the achievements there are to actually finish the game. There are such achievements as dying a certain amount of time, playing the game for X amount of hours, seconds, it's not really hours, trust me, painting the tiles, and several other. The map is much bigger than the original, and also there's new modes, such as co-op. The dream machine is broken, and it's up to you to fix it. You're the hero of the day. The game is a point-and-click game, and you go around planets that are orbiting the central planet you start on via pads. Now, each of these planets have something to solve the puzzles that are on other planets, and orbs to activate those pods to get to other planets. The old saying is, one step forward and two steps back. The game isn't quite that. You control a character who is reflecting on his life, and at each stage you must get to the exit. The issue? The exit opens after a certain amount of time, and after a few seconds, there are copies of you created that mimic all your moves you've made prior, and they will kill you if you touch them. Do you like those puzzle games where you have to get all the blocks the same color? Well, if you do, then you'll surely enjoy this game. You are an explorer in a tower, and these puzzles help you ascend to the next level. Maybe there's a story, but if it is, it's probably unimportant. You are but a mere mortal, wanting to ascend the Tower of Heaven. And God doesn't like you. The game is a platform game with many rules. Seriously. After a few levels, there will be a new law added that you must follow throughout the rest of the game. Such as you can't walk left. You've fallen through a hole and are now in a Mayan tomb. The problem? There isn't a nice exit sign telling you where the exit is. And said exit isn't just a push open door either. Solve the puzzles left behind to figure out a way to get out of the tomb. Do you remember back in biology class, however many years ago that was, or in the future that might be, when you were taught about dominant and recessive genes and... All of that genetic stuff. Well, here's a game applying those. Your goal is to create a certain fuzzy that is on a wanted poster. You do so by breeding fuzzies that are likely to produce the wanted fuzzy. If only they had this in high school. It's a game about deception and lying to the player. This game isn't good. And why are you even watching this? We're just here to sell you products. And if you can't get that that was supposed to be a joke then you'll probably fail a few times on the game. Now, this is an interesting and challenging platformer at times as well, as you have to figure out what is a lie and what's the truth. Continuing in the series, which takes place in an apocalyptic future similar to Fallout, they even have names similar to that in Fallout, such as Caps and Radmeat. 
comes the next Fogfall game. The game is a point and click adventure game, which means that several people may not like it just because of that fact. So your goal is to find Coopertown, a suspected safe haven. Will you be able to get there safe and sound? Who knows? Colors, colors, oh so many different colors. We have a puzzle platformer on our hands that uses colors to get to the end. Throughout the stages are switches that causes you to change your color and thus through some logic are able to go through different colors. It's not hard as often there are arrows around to help you, but trying to figure out color mixtures may confuse some of you out there. You're the lone survivor after a hostile spaceship crashes into your station. It's up to you to guide around your ship and help those that need helping. This often revolves around blowing up other spaceships. Also, you can upgrade your ship with the money you obtain. We have one of those memorization games on our hand. It's one of those old oh, remember the pattern of colors and select the ones of a certain color when they are now gone. Some of you like this and be good at it. The rest of you, well, surely one of the previous games might work for you. And our final fight wannabe for this week is Dino Strike. If you don't know what that means, this game is a side-scrolling beat-em-up. Anything that gets in your way, you beat em up. Like dinosaurs! It's easy the first time you play because it's set on easy by default, and a harder mode can be unlocked by beating the game. Ending our list this week is a game that, well, not everyone out there will enjoy. The game is a visual novel, and it has its own little charm. Our character works at home, but several of our options to choose from are blacked out in the beginning of the game. But as time passes and you learn more information, these options will become available. It's an interesting game, but it's not for everyone. So, as I just mentioned ago, that's our very last game, which means our list for this week has come to an end. So, just in case you don't know, each and every Sunday, we're going to be having a new Browser Game of the Week video up. So if you like browser games, like this video, or just want to be up to date on some of this stuff, simply subscribe to us. It only takes one click. Oh